So recently I've been playing around with the Pine Time watch and I'm going to talk about itself and the developing process in 2023. So let's go to the store page. So the Pine watch is sold by the same company that makes many of these single little computer boards, Pine 64. It's got a nice high resolution display. It's got a decent battery life. It's got an older chip, but that's okay because it only costs $26. And when you're developing, it also comes, you can buy one with the back taken off and you can program it with the little pins right here. So it's nice because it's extremely cheap. It's pretty old at this point, so there's a lot of software for it. <laughs> but because it's pretty old, there's also the limitations with the CPU being a slightly older and the limited RAM that it comes with. It. But as for software, it first comes with Infinity Time. And Infinity Time is really cool because it's relatively a uh, decent sized group of people releasing patches for it relatively quickly. You can grab the release here. You just grab this app DFU and you use Gadget Bridge and you flash the device whenever there's a new release. And as for appearances, I think it actually looks pretty nice. The clock face, the time, the the date, and the little battery icons, and it's pretty smooth and fast. The only problem with it is if you go to the watch, it only has these apps on it. You can't add any extra watches without doing an entire rebuild and then flashing the image onto it. So as for app supports. There's music, notifications, stopwatches, and you know, heart rate sensor and stuff like that. But if you want to do, if you want to download any more apps, you have to basically develop them, push them to this repo, have them being committed, and then then everyone else can you know get the apps on the next release. Or you could just make the build yourself and flash it, have a custom build and custom repo where you have your own custom apps and you can flash them onto here. So what I decided to do is look for ways to put Exprino onto this. And this person right here, Jeremy, made a cool GitHub repo where he made a custom Exprino build with that supports a multiple different apps. So the Pine Time Watch is actually P8. They basically, um, well, from what it seems like, they just basically used the P8 and sold it on their website. But that's fine because it's a very common watch. So there's a lot of support for it. So if you go, if you were to install this different package, you will get you get to the store launching page and you just select to watch and then you can select these different uh, apps to download. Um, not too many because this is a relatively niche product but still very cool with the promise of being able to use a bunch of apps. So, but now what I wanted to do was slightly different so I wanted to start off on Start off with a Bear Exprino build. And this guy, Van, Vanouche, has a good repo on not only the P8, but a whole bunch of different uh, smartwatch. But specifically with the P8 or the Pine Time, he's got this, let's see, he's got a build here and you can directly flash that onto your device. Now, flashing the device requires soldering to these little pins. If you want to if you want to do um, use a standard serial wire programmer, you need to solder onto this. Otherwise, you can program over Bluetooth, but I find this to be quicker and more reliable for the most part. So when you do that, your board will look something like this. So there's four little connections here, 
they run down to this ribbon cable and to use so you need a programmer like this this is a Seger uh, programmer um, this specific one is the cheapest one you could possibly imagine you can get these for literally dollars uh, if you want to get them off AliExpress the normal Seger programmers are vastly more expensive these are in, they'll, it'll cost you around like a couple hundred dollars so I prefer something like this because you know I'm cheap <laughs> so what do you need to do so basically these are the commands we have to go through first we have to recover it program the hex file then reset it and if you want to use the latest build instead of using that pre-built one what we need to do is we need to take this file right here this PASDK12.py and then put it into Xprino and then run the commands. So let's go do that. I'm going to push this over here. Okay, so. Okay, so let me plug in this device. Plugged in. So first, I'm on Windows because I hate myself. So we're going to do. What is this? We gotta list these IDs, and then we gotta attach six two. I gotta first start Ubuntu. Attach the device. Okay. Go to Exprino. Okay. So what we need to do first, we'll reset the board. Jprog.f nrf f2 recovery recover. Okay, so now it's completely flash or completely reset. So now we have to set up Exprino. So we'll run this command. So this will set up the Exprino to use our CPU. Okay, so then this is where I told you you need to drag over that uh, file. So I've already done that. And so if we see if we go into CD boards, you'll see this guy right here. Uh, then what we need to do is we need to make release, and this is going to make release everything. What did I do wrong? I have to make clean. Yeah, okay. Alright, so it's going to build the entire thing. And we'll get this file right here in the bin folder. Okay. So now we have our bin. So let's go see the bin. We've got. This, this, no, this, this is what I want. So I'm going to copy that. NRF J prod enter 5 dude program. Put that in and verify. So this is going to upload it. reset it and then we go back to Chrome go to the IDE we should be able to hit Bluetooth pair it up so P8 2v19 now we are connected via Bluetooth and we can hit run. Okay. 
And there we go. Here's a simple testing project. Um, I plan to do more interesting things in the future. Um, but one little thing to note is if you do go this route, sometimes what you have to do is you have to hit the power button if you don't plug the debugger in and hit the NRF reset. So sometimes you have to hit the side button to tell the turn on to allow you to upload code via Bluetooth. Okay, so hopefully there'll be another video in the series, uh, but that's all for now.